you said that nobody can exceed the time of prophet yes. muhammad and his time yes. was 20 apologies and his time was 23 yes. you were not mistaken i swear by allah at that time you clearly said the time of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was 23 year he said that nobody can cross that time nobody can be beyond that and i am i am i am excusing i am i'm you know i am uh, apologizing about apologizing no the reason is before you said that it was difficult for you to digest that somebody's tenure can cross for muslim and now said his is his one cross now you are fine with that so ali uh, do you agree that mirza gulam qadiani said that messiah once the messiah will appear and make his claim of messiahship after that he will complete an other 40 years do you agree with that 40 years after the messiahship basically um, after mirza ghulam ahmed qadiani was given the responsibility of uh, the messiahship when he was made masih maud when he was told he is masih maud he mm-hmm. will live for 40 years after that no no he will yeah this is what this is what he I mean, what's your, okay what's your understanding what's your understanding my you tell us your understanding my understanding and already i have told to you that is uh, based on a chronic uh, uh, verses mm-hmm. if a person if a, a person who claims i am from god and he is receiving revelation from the god and then on the basis of those revelation he is claiming to be a person from god then he cannot live more than that time whatever time has been given to our holy prophet hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam after the prophethood that was from 40 okay, 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 i got you okay yeah. i got the point so ali okay ali according to your knowledge at what age or in which year mirza gulam qadiani was given this uh, wahi or revelation at what age Uh, you know, uh, there are I think three kinds of things which should be differentiated here. The truth. I am talking. I am. I am talking about the wahi. Wahi yeah, or nabu. I mean, I mean ha, yeah, yeah. Uh, he received uh, uh, first time uh, the revelation in the words of Quran, Quranic words, when he was uh, when I mean he has claimed. I did not say. I mean when he. has claimed to be 40 years age when he was 40 years old in which he was age? he was 40 years of age when his father was died, almost which means that 1876 right uh, his father was died i think yeah we believe we believe and mirza gulam qadiani says that it was 1874 but i'm just going by the number of the jama they say 1876 okay 1876 plus 23 what's the number uh, 87 um 70 76 you are taking from 76 then 1899 1899 yes yeah yeah so then still you said that he cannot exceed the tenure of the prophethood of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam okay but in this case he did yeah because he was died in 1908 so how many year from from 70 76 hmm from 76 to uh, i think is uh, 32 years you said that it can't be more than 23 No, no. I think the minimum time is that I did not say more. No, no. That. You said that, brother. Look, you said that nobody can exceed the time of Prophet Muhammad, and his time yeah, was twenty. Apologies. And his time was twenty-three. Okay. Yeah, my apologies. Even if I have done that mistake, the Min- minimum criteria is that. Ali, let me repeat. You said out of respect. You were not mistaken. I swear by Allah. At that time, you clearly said that the you know the, the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallam was twenty three years. He said that nobody can cross that time. Nobody can be beyond that. Then I am I am I am excusing. I am I am you know I am uh, apologizing uh, apologizing on that. So if, now so now you are saying now you are saying yes. that Mirza Ghulam Qadiani's time of revelation or appointment was more than the time of right? Yeah. yeah. Are you happy with that? I mean, uh, if I am, <laughs> mean, uh, if I am accepting him as a true prophet from God, I am happy on that. No, the reason is before you said that it was difficult for you to digest that somebody's tenure can cross Prophet Muhammad Sallam, and now said his 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 one cross. Now you are fine with that. My my dear, let me clear that if I what I have said, I am not a person which cannot you know, uh, uh, not not a person as authenticated. Okay, now I am correcting why I am saying a minimum time span for the prophethood is the same time which has been given to our holy prophet peace be upon him. If somebody claimed, if somebody claimed to be from the God or claimed I got these revelation from the God, he is claiming. 
कि आई एम रिसीविंग दीज रेवल्यूशन फ्रॉम द गॉड एंड देन टेलिंग टू द पीपल अबाउट दैट रेवल्यूशन एंड इफ ही हिज लाइफ इज लेसर देन दैट इफ हिज लाइफ इज लेसर देन दैट स्पैन देन ही कैन नॉट बी कंसीडर्ड ए ट्रू पर्सन हु हैज रिसीव्ड अ ट्रू रेवल्यूशन फ्रॉम द गॉड तो क्राइटेरिया इज criteria is that ali ali listen ali i got your point i got the point let me let me say something yeah, yeah, be clear. before you said that the maximum time span of the prophethood of a prophet cannot be more than the time span of prophet sallam now you said no minimum 